So good day everyone, good afternoon ma'am and sir. We are the group one of grade 12 Smyrna and we are here today to defend our product. Guava leaves can be used to treat inflammatory acne, scars, and uneven skin tone since they have antibacterial characteristics attributable to active ingredients which help fight skin infections and inflammations. Calamon C is high in vitamin C, which is a powerful antioxidant and aids in the formation of collagen in the skin which is responsible for the skin's fairness and suppleness, as well as the removal of dark spots because of its strong acid content. Um, as the seasons change, many of us will notice changes in our skin, such as dryness. Because of these, people tend to exfoliate, and body scrub is one form of exfoliating product that can be utilized. Our study's proposal's purpose is to develop a body scrub that has various advantages, including being cost-effective, less chemicals, and containing elements that are beneficial to the skin. Additionally, moisturizers and other hydration products will no longer be necessary. Here we have Ella Marie Lupus to discuss the statement of the problem. The statement of the problem and objectives of the study aim to determine the level of acceptability and examine the per product's performance, effects, and overall quality, and therefore evaluate the effectiveness of organic scrub. Number one, significant difference between three groups of measurements, which are the one tablespoon, one fourth cup, and one cup, and the calamansi, whether it should be calamansi pill, calamansi pill with extract, and the whole calamansi, to determine the appropriate and optimal amount in each treatment. Number two, identify and assess the product's effectiveness and significant effects on skin after application which will be based on hydration, moisturization, exfoliating property, and harmful effects. To continue, we have Anne-Marie de Jesus. So as you all know, conducting this study requires setting a goal and aim for examining the overall performance of the product. With that in mind, let's move on to the third, as the researchers will take observations into considerations in order to produce the most suitable and appropriate product, as to assess the spreadability of each trials, and second is to compare the texture and consistency of each treatment, and to examine the appearance of the body wash scrub, and last is to evaluate the aroma of the body wash scrub before, during, and after use. And next is the fourth, is to assess if the guava leaves and calamansi body wash scrub will show results on the skin if there is an effect or visible outcome and differences in before and after use of the scrub in terms of hydration, moisturization, exfoliation, and effects to, to determine its effectiveness. And lastly, is to determine if it can or is better to be an alternative to the usual body scrub found in the stores regarding its significant effects on the application and the observations in Guavamansi as well as the noticeable changes, improvements, and differences given in, in its application. So all of this is in order for the observation and testing in each trials. At this will help the researchers to know what is the suitable and appropriate for the body wash cup. And here is Pongase for the scope and the limitation and solace for the significance of the study. For the scope and the limitations, the main objective of this research is to determine if guava leaves will be effective as an acne exfoliant. It will also go through budget, time, equipment, procedures to be utilized, the appropriate amount of ingredients, and the product's effectiveness. Now we will move on to the significance of, this, of the study to be discussed by Ms. Cristina Angela Solis. For the future researchers, the concept offered could be utilized as a starting point for a new study or to assess the validity of other related findings. The students will aid in the development of self-esteem and the attainment of a beautiful complexion. It promotes the maintenance of a, of a healthy body and the incorporation of hygiene into their daily lives in order to eliminate dirt and bacteria from the environment. The researcher might also get relevance. It would increase the research skills, strategy, and expertise. As for young adults, the research can help teenagers deal with insecurities in a non-harmful and cost-effective way for their age. Working adults can easily use the product and non-time consuming can stimulate them into taking good care of their skin more. Similarities of the Synthesis the researchers searched for facts through the different platforms that made them consider the study of Kadan in 2005 
wherein the usefulness of guava leaves were discussed and the study from PubMed Central in 2017 was also considered, wherein the properties of coconut oil and its benefits have been studied. The researchers created the products after discovering this information. Now, for the difference of the synthesis, we have Suzette Tividad. Differences of the synthesis. The researchers approached their tests based on their own findings, such as Lupo in 2015, who explained the significance of exfoliating and tested different exfoliators. Wendy in 2018, who proposed an antibacterial soap made from guava leaves as part of their strategy. The concepts of the researchers were tested in the laboratories where they gathered data based on their observations. They do, however, ensure that all topics are handled thoroughly. Next, we have Solis and Pongase to discuss the contents of Chapter 3. For the research method and design, the researchers used the scientific experimental method to discover and characterize relevant factors, formulate a hypothesis, change the variables, and gather data on the outcomes. In this quantitative research study, a total of 192 respondents from grade 12 STEM participated in the survey questionnaire. Next is Christina Angela Solis. Researchers utilize a sample to select study participants who would reflect the whole research population because it is frequently impossible to study and survey everyone. The participants of the study were chosen using a stratified voluntary sampling method or in it, it, it entails dividing a population into smaller groups known as strata. The members of the group are arranged into groups or strata based on shared qualities or attributes. It was made clear to the participants that their participation was not compulsory. The researchers are also informed the participants about their rights if they choose to participate in the study. We use Google Form as a survey questionnaire. And now we have Miles Gomez to discuss product testing results. So these are the observations for each trials wherein it was conducted in triplicates. So as we can observe, the letter D, or the one for cup virgin coconut oil and, and calamansi peel, is what showed the targeted characteristics of the body scrub, wherein there is no harmful reaction in the skin upon application, and the product is spreadable, and its consistency helps in the exfoliating process. It smells pleasant and looks appealing, uh, although there is a slight oiliness when applied to the skin. It was noticed that the dirt on the skin, or the libag, was eliminated, and that when washed off, there was a hydration effect, eliminating the need for a moisturizer or lotion. And now let's move on to the analysis of data to be started by Cassandra Palin. The present or second analysis of our data, a drop of demographic has three types, which is the age, the strength and substance, and the cancer. So the age of third type has three students in six they responded to our survey with 21 years old students, 15 to 17 years old students, and 18 to 20 years old students. Also for the gender, there are female and male students. And for the small and set gender, I can see one student from Syria, 12 students from Somalia, 5 and 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 so this is the graph representing our 192 respondent survey results. Strongly agree is represented by the number 4 and strongly disagree by the number 1. As can be seen, the majority of respondents range, uh, responses range from strongly agree to agree. Next slide, please. However, because the mean score of the survey responses ranged from 3.38 to 3.64, it may be concluded that the respondents strongly agree with all of the statements based on the legend's score interpretation presented on the slide. And now let's move on to ANOVA and T-Test to be led by Ella Lubos and Ande Jesus. ANOVA and T-Test were used to see if there are significant differences between the nine samples from the seven observations of characteristics. In T-Test, what we did is we took the three closest average from the ANOVA to determine the best sample. First is ANOVA for consistency, wherein the p-value is less than 0.05, therefore there is a significant difference. 
for the t-test, both p-value are less than 0 0.0056, therefore a significant difference exists. Next is ANOVA for cent. The p-value is less than 0 0.05, therefore we conclude a significant difference exists. For the t-test, wherein both p-value are greater than 0 0.0056, therefore there is no significant difference between two variables. Third is ANOVA for exfoliation, where the p-value is less than 0 0.05, therefore a significant difference exists. For the t-test of exfoliation, both p-value are less than 0 0.0056, therefore there is a statistical difference between the two variables. Next is ANOVA for hydration, the p-value is less than 0 0.05, therefore a significant difference exists. To continue, we have Anne-Marie Dessus. So continuing the hydration part, for the t-test of hydration, which result both in a p-value of less than 0 0.0056, therefore we conclude that there is a statistical difference between the two variables. Moving on to the ANOVA of spreadability, the p-value is less than 0 0.05, therefore the difference between the means are statistically significant. And for the t-test of spreadability, both the p-value is more than 0 0.0056, therefore there is no statistical difference between the two variables. Next is the ANOVA of after effect, the p-value is less than 0 0.05, therefore a significant difference exists. For the t-test of after effect, as both the p-value is greater than 0 0.0056, therefore there is no significant difference between the variables. And lastly, the ANOVA of appearance, the p-value is less than 0.05, therefore conclude that a significant difference exists. And lastly, for the p-test of appearance, as both resulted, the p-value is less than 0.0056, therefore conclude that there is a significant difference between the two variables. And that concludes my part. Here is Valera and Gomez for Chapter 5 of the Summary and Differences. Summary of Findings The majority of participants responded strongly agree to the product when it comes to having significant differences in each trial Noticeable significant effects on the skin in terms of hydration, moisturization, exfoliation, and no harmful after effect. The spreadability, consistency, appearance, and the better replacement for existing body scrubs. Meanwhile, the lowest rating response observed in the survey results was strongly disagree, which was not chosen by the respondents. And now we have Mas Gomez for the conclusion. So we've gathered our data that was analyzed through the 192 participants in our survey from the grade 12 STEM students of Lyceum Falabang. There were substantial differences between the varied measures of uh, virgin coconut oil and calamansi. Uh, based on the findings, it can be concluded that a body wash scrub can be made with one fourth cup virgin coconut oil and calamansi peel. The guapa mansi body scrub was chosen as the final product because it has the best outcome out of the nine trials conducted in triplicates. And it has been noted to be exfoliating, moisturizing, and there's no harmful after effect upon application and after application. It was also found to be a more effective alternative to the already marketed body scrub. And now we have Suzette Pititan. Recommendations. So these are added suggestions that highlight specific solutions and measures to be implemented based on the results of our research. Recommendations include enhancement in terms of hydration, moisturization, and exfoliation with the improvement of the scrub's effect on sensitive skin and the time scale producing the desired result. Offering variety of scents and exploring different colors which can enhance the product's appearance and can easily gain attention from consumers. The adjustment of measurements to avoid lavishing ingredients and altering some part of the methodology to produce an innovative approach to the product. And that concludes my part. And that ends our presentation.